ChatGPT is indisputably a game changer. However, sometimes it just gives us a run around or outright refuses to do things that you know can easily do. Getting it to generate PowerPoint slides of VBA code is no exception. However, with the right prompts and responses, you can convince it to comply with your prompt request and get what you need. In today's video, I'm going to show you a few nudges and prompts that can change the course and allow you to get what you need. So let's check it out. Okay, what I have here is a research abstract with a couple different sections here, and I'm asking it to create some slides of VBA and PowerPoint based on this abstract. And I want it to create an additional slide to visualize my results. And you can see the results section there. And saying that my audience just wants it quick and dirty, right to the point. This is my intro section. I want a slide for that. This is my method section. I also want a slide for that. My results, obviously, I want two slides, but we'll see if it does it. One slide would be great. And that's my conclusion right there. So I definitely want a slide for conclusion and all of these. Okay, so I'm going to copy this. I'm going to go ahead and put this into the prompt and then I'm going to go see what happens. All right, I'm going to right click and paste this in there. And see what it says. Okay, yep, we can see that it's already giving us that refusal saying it doesn't have the ability to physically create PowerPoint slides, duh. We know that it can write VBA code, so that's not true. Yeah, you can see that it generated some outlines for some slides for us, but we just have to put this into PowerPoint and that's kind of a pain. That's not what we want to do here. I found when I guilt it and say, hey, you already gave me VBA code even when it didn't, a lot of times it'll give me something at least and I can work from that. This is where it's weird. It's saying, I don't have the capability to directly generate VBA code or create a PowerPoint presentation. But in the next paragraph, it says, I can provide a VBA script that creates a PowerPoint presentation. Literally, that's so strange. But either way, it's giving us a placeholder, which is better than nothing. We can start with that and we can get it to adapt. Okay, once you can get it to give you some general code, even if it's very general, you're in good shape because then you can just say, hey, please adapt it to my abstract or document, whatever. And so that's exactly what I'm doing here. I'm thanking it. I'm saying, hey, I'm going to give you my abstract now. Please adapt it. And let's see if it does it. Okay, let's go back to our document, copy and paste, put in the prompt here with the other part of the prompt and hit enter. And just going to look at things there. Okay, good. All right. Oh, look at that. I'm happy to help you adapt your abstract into a VBA script. There we go. That's what we wanted all along. Maybe the thing was just saying VBA script, not VBA code. Who knows with chat GPT? It's hard to know what it's actually thinking. But either way, looks like we're getting what we need. Okay, well, almost. It's saying that we need to manually enter the data for the chart. You can do this in VBA and chat GPT can do that. It would just require another prompt. And so you just say, these are the data. Please make a slide out of this. That's essentially what you would do. And then you'd rerun it. Or you could have it integrate in your current code. All right, at this point, you want to go ahead and copy the code so we can put it into PowerPoint. Let's go ahead and open this PowerPoint file. And if you don't have the developer tab, and many of you probably won't, that's okay. We're going to enable it like this. We're going to go right there. We're going to go down to more commands. And we're going to go to customize ribbon and developer. I'm going to check that. We're going to hit OK. And then we can add our code. So click on developer right there, Visual Basic. And you want to go to insert here, you want to insert a module, and this is where you want to put the code in. So right click, paste, and there we go right there. So you can see there's the code that ChatGPT gave us. We're going to run it. And when you do that, it generates the PowerPoint slides. Now it's nothing fancy. It's not what we originally wanted, but this saves us a ton of time. So if you want to do more tweaks, you can do background. Uh, the results, like I was showing you earlier, you're just going to have to do additional prompts and that's how it is. So I'm not going to waste your time by doing that, but essentially you kind of get the gist of how this works. Okay. This is what it looks like if you actually do a couple extra prompts to chat GPT. So you can see my background, my bullet points, everything just looks a little bit more modern. So you can see my intro section there. Ditto for my method section. This is my results. I have sub bullet points now. Looks a lot nicer. Check out the font too. I think that looks a lot better than the default font. This is what I really wanted though. And it did give us uh, a graph here that I wanted. So this is nice. And then finally my conclusion. So anyway, I hope you'd enjoy this video. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And let me know if you've had any similar luck or stories with ChatGPT when it's resistant. 
I appreciate you as always, and in the meantime, take care.